So guys, welcome back to another one, and yeah, you already read the title, you already seen the thumbnail, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so first of all, I'm sorry guys, it's not gonna be a PvP video today, I'm really sorry about that, but tomorrow is gonna be the new anniversary, keep in mind, I am gonna summon on that anniversary, and I think it's gonna be really cool. So, I know I wanted to live stream uh, this uh, reveal, right, but I unfortunately couldn't because I was at school. I was actually watching Amazing reacting to this, so shout out to Amazing, because honestly he made it quite fun and uh yeah okay so i'm gonna tell you guys i'm gonna tell you what she does all her skills and everything and if you have to summon on that banner or not because we already know the banner we already have the patch notes and everything so with, without further ado let's get straight into it so uh let's see she looks actually like unironically she looks really cool right she looks really awesome and if you haven't noticed already she is a dark type unit and she is also a unknown unit so if you have some unknown units and keep in mind guys i'm just saying this because i have it but if you have summoned on the collab banners right in the past like year or two there are a lot of unknown units that are collab units so they are pretty cool too so you can actually make you can actually use the collab units now again because she actually buffs like unknown units now so the old collab characters like from two or three years ago are gonna be really op now so keep that in mind too guys it's gonna be awesome so um let's see this is hd okay so this is how she looks her cc is 71k 70.5k and honestly that is pretty huge so this is going to be her passive and let's just read it real quick so shout out to the sacred treasure podcast because they actually translated all of it and i'm going to use the, their translation for it so her passive is actually like a whole Yu-Gi-Oh uh card deck right so what she does is uh, when you use a skill uh, during the enemies turn apply a pain source effect to that enemy for two turns equal to the number of specific allies who were damaged by the skill use and reduce the pain on the enemy each root effect increases all of your stats by three percent up to the maximum of 24 percent also of for each specific ally participating in the battle, your attack power will be increased by 7%. You will negate the source of pain effect too. Specific ally Ragnarok features. Characters of unknown race, source of pain increases damage received by 5%, additional damage equal to 10% of remaining HP at the end of the turn, can be stacked 5 times. So what I'm getting with this is if you have a unknown team, right, if you have an unknown team, she's gonna be boosting them all, if you have a Ragnarok team, you're gonna be destroying everyone. So keep that in mind, if you use a Retir, I think, like, you just destroy the Demon King. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, if I think, if you use her with Tyr and someone else and Nanashi in the back, you're just gonna be destroying maybe even a shit not in it so keep that in mind too okay so let's see do they show the skills too i think they showed right okay so for the skills uh let's see okay this is in the training arc here uh let's see these are her skills right here in the uh, on the bottom right and honestly these skills are pretty cool so let's just see is, she, is is he gonna do some skills okay so for the first skill right here this skill what it does, it is a long-ranged attack leaping death. Deals damage equal to 350% of attack power to all enemies and reduces critical hit chance and critical damage by 80% for 3 turns. So, all <laughs> uh, it is an AoE attack and reduces critical hit chance and critical damage by, uh, by 80% for 3 turns. So they're just gonna hit you less and crit you less, I think. I think that's it. So let's see how much damage is the level 1 actually going to do. It is an AoE. It looks pretty cool though. It's like this little ghost that transforms into one big ghost. It's like Dimple from Mob Psycho 100. If you have watched that, you know what I'm talking about. It's, I'm going to call him Dimple, man. I'm going to call him Dimple. His name is Dimple now. So let's see. Okay, that's the first skill. So the second skill. Okay. The second skill is actually a single target attack, so what it does is deals pain damage equal to 500% of attack power to a single enemy when using pain skills. Attack related abilities increase by 12% for each pain source affected on the target. Okay. So what I'm getting at is that these debuffs here are pain sources, if I'm correct about that. So for each debuff, he's doing 12% more damage. 
I think that's it, right? But the unfortunate thing about this is they are red, right? So the S what the Asterosa has, like Asterosa can actually debuff your and put on darkness, but that darkness is actually great, so you can't be cleansing that. But these red debuffs, you can actually cleanse that with a Goddess team or like any other cleanser in the game. So that's going to be something. That's going to be something to note of. And let's see. Okay, so for his level two single target attack. The same, he gets wings, actually that's pretty cool. But the AoE is like a lot cooler because he's using Dimple in those attacks. <laughs> Look at Dimple man, I'm calling him Dimple. I'm sorry guys, I already claimed his name, his name is going to be Dimple. Uh, shout out to Mob Psycho 100, one of the, one of the better enemies out there. Um, okay, so for his ult, his ult is actually pretty insane too. So his ult is a lot of attacks too, so what it does is... Uh, damnation increases the damage dealt to you by 50%. Okay, so you, you will get more damage dealt to you, sure. Increases the damage taken by all enemies by 50% too. Okay, so it's a double debuff. Like, you're debuffing yourself, you're debuffing, debuffing the allies too, and deals damage equal to 750% of your attack power to all enemies. Uh, also, if you are participating in the battle and an ally whose char correct characteristics are our race are unknown becomes inca incapacitated you will be granted an immortal guide immortal guide if you become incapacitated due to a nullification of the pain source effect you will be receiving you will be revived with 1% hp the spe the special attack gauge will be set to zero and one immortal guide will be released if you become incapa incapacitated by the effect affection you will not be re revived can be stacked three times so this what i'm getting about this is if you are running an unknown team you kind of have the Eskinor passive where you get revived even though you die it with one percent hp and you can stack that like three times so you can three you can go three turns without dying while you, while you are already kind of dead that's what i'm getting about this okay sure how does it look though how does the super attack look? Let's see. <coughs> I'm sorry guys. Wait. So how does the super attack uh, look? Okay, she has this one. Sure. Ooh, Dimple. Dimple, what is Dimple gonna do? Dimple becomes big. Damn, big Dimple. Big Dimple in the building. Big Dimple Reaper. Okay, big Reaper Dimple. 848k? Okay, sure. That's a level 6 out of 6, though. I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, so for the costumes now. Of course, the costumes are one of the most important things in Grand Cross. Because you gotta show your drip, right? You gotta show your drip. Um, let's see. Okay, that's the SSR one. So this this like the standard one when you pack her. This is gonna be the UR one. This is gonna be a paid cosmetic. Honestly, it is, it is decent. It's not... Ooh, this one is actually pretty cool. It's like from the story, right? With the wolf in it and the little girl in the red dress. I don't know uh, what the name about uh, what the name is from that uh, from that wolf and everything. Um, you know what? I uh, actually I really dislike this one. I don't know what this. I kind of dislike this one. They did dimple dirty. Uh, yeah, I like this one the most. Uh, the red dress. I like the red dress the most. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, headgear, or no, wait, weapon. Okay, that's fine, that's the normal weapon. That is the normal weapon. The fruit, uh, the basket, <laughs> the basket from the wolf. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, this one is cool too, though, this one is cool too. The basket is, ah, it's decent, it's decent. If you want to run, like, a, t uh, a meme character, that's going to be quite nice. Ooh, this one is actually pretty dope. Okay, I actually quite like this one. And, okay, for the headgear, this one is going to be the free one, I guess. Yeah, I think that's the free one uh, with the with the hero affinity, of course. Then you got this one. Actually, she kind of looks like Ashidna with that. Yeah, she kind of looks like Ashidna. Am I the only one? Um, <laughs> okay, this is with the red dress. And this is the normal one. She got, like, two separate horns added to the horns. Sure. Um, okay, so let's see, what do they have more? Uh, they are going to show it here. 
So if you have her in a team with, wait, why are they using a Nanashi in the front? Okay, they were actually using it here. Sure. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna put on the volume. I'm really sorry about it, but ooh, Dimple with it, almost 200k. I see you, Dimple, I see you. Wait, 700k with a level 2. That's because of all those debuffs, right? Like 700k, that's actually pretty insane. That's actually massive. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Actually, that's fine. Okay, so now let's get on to the patch notes and the banner, actually, because we already know the banner. So I will see you guys in one second. Okay, so we are with the patch notes here. So a quick guide. I know I didn't really want to cover the patch notes. Um, these are the outfits. These are the new uh, cards. It's a PvP card set for uh, goddesses. You you can buff your goddesses with this card set. Roxy gets a new holy relic. The holy re relic uh, works with humans. So for each human you will get a 3% buff. Uh, and you will get 30% more damage with your critical hits. And let's skip this one. Let's skip this. Okay, uh, you will get 150 gems actually um, with the daily login and then another 30 gems with the event here and another uh, 10 tickets so one multi actually like equal to 30 gems. And <laughs> yeah, there's a new boss event. I'm just gonna skip this because I wanna go over the banner. Um, new Hawk Pass, there's nothing really new. There's a new Liz costume. Honestly, that's fine. I we, we don't care about the LR Liz anymore. I'm sorry. We just don't care about her. <laughs> her time to shine is uh, it's been over. Okay, so these are the attacks. This is how it looks. You already seen it. And this is going to be the banner. So, the first time I saw this banner, I really thought they were trolling us, right? Because the banner is actually pretty garbage. Let's be honest. It is not that good. It's not that good of a banner. But, honestly, the characters in it are pretty decent. Well, some of them are, right? And if you didn't have it already, you can get her for the birds. You can get Megelda for the birds. You can get uh, I forgot her, but, uh, I forgot her name. But you can get her for deer. She's actually pretty good too. Scotty, right? She, her name's Scotty, something like that. Freya is decent. Uh, Freya is actually pretty good for Nidhogg. And then you have Tyr. Tyr is just a must-have for a PvP team with a unknown units in it. So I unfortunately don't have Tyr. So I hope, I really hope, I will get Tyr and of course the new character within the like, within the first half of the uh, of the banner, right? That's what I'm hoping here. But yeah, the banner is not that great. And honestly, I would say don't summon on it. But this event is actually like this, and the first is actually pretty free to play friendly, because you will get 150 gems uh, with only daily logins. Keep that in mind, that's actually pretty huge. And then you will get another like 30 gems with normal event, and then another like 10 tickets, uh, and the equi equivalent of that is like 30 gems. So, yeah, there are a lot of free gems here. So, honestly, I think she's a must summon. Like, unironically, I think she's a must summon because, like, the best team right now is the demon team, right? And we all know that, like, you, you, can, you can't go a PvP match without seeing a, king, a Demon King, right? I personally think if you are using this character, this new character, in combination of tier, maybe a Ishitna at the side, and then a Nanashi in the back, I honestly think that's going to be the new PvP meta. I really think that. The only reason why I would say don't summon on it... It's just because of this banner, because honestly, what 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 is this Eskinar doing here? His time to shine is like four years past. The same with his bond, right? Um, those those two are like the really downsides. Well, we we don't need we don't need her. We don't need these two. We we don't need this Ragnarok bond. We don't need this uh, fake ass Lost Fame Meliodas. We don't need Tristan. I don't even know why Tristan is there. We don't need this Merlin. We don't need this Diane. But if you are lucky guys, if you are lucky and you have a lot of unknown characters like the collab characters that I already mentioned because I personally have like, all, I already have all of the collab characters, right? So I know for a fact I can make a lot of teams with only this character. I already know that. So that's the reason why I'm gonna summon, uh, well not, that's not the only reason because I want to make content too, but I think she's gonna be really strong. But with that being said guys, I am not going to say summon or not summon. Personally, I am going to summon. And if you want my recommendation, you have to summon too. 
but I'm not your uh, I'm not your father or like your mother. I can't say summon or you're you're not gonna summon now. But if you have the gems, please summon. I think it's gonna be a really good character. So with that being said, guys, I know it's a bit different, and I know there's gonna be uh, no PvP video for today. I'm really sorry about that. Maybe I will be posting a new PvP video in a couple of hours. It depends on my schoolwork. But keep in mind, I will be summoning on the banner tomorrow. I will be doing a full rotation. And yeah, I will see you guys then. And honestly, like, thank you guys so much for everything. We are almost at like 900. Well, we are now at 850, right? So thank you guys so much for that. Yeah, honestly. Like, if you are still watching, I don't think anyone is still watching now. Um, Yeah, re really, thank you. Uh, I don't know how. <laughs> I really felt happy seeing that. So it feels good, like, seeing people support, kind of supporting you, right? So... Thank you guys so much. Uh, I, I li like, I'm really dry right now, but honestly, like, I, I, I keep saying this, like, you guys are like at 850 subs. For a lot of people, that's not a lot, but for me, I will always be saying this. It's like a million. You guys mean the world to me, so thank you very much for that, like, honestly. Um, yeah, so yeah, I just want to say thank you, man, because I, I really, I really want to thank you guys. I wouldn't be here, like, literally, I wouldn't be here without you. So, um, thank you guys so much for that. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the day. And I will see you guys tomorrow with the summoning video, of course. So, um, yeah, keep keep safe, guys. Keep safe. And, yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>